Um, all right. Um, I, uh, I don't know. I don't know where to start. I, I guess I'm gonna start from the beginning, but try to keep all the, um, all the extra out. Me and Braddy, we decided, uh, Braddy was still in Evoke at the time, but I was talking to him. I told him, uh, I had this idea to actually bring back Craze and do something better with it. And we agreed upon it. And then we spent two months making the rules and, you know, actually getting things out there. Well, like focusing on what we wanted to do for it, then put it out there. After the two months, um, before we was even announced, um, KX Gaming had joined. Me and her was talking at the time. So she had joined the group. And shortly after, the first person that was announced to join was Shadow. So let's go from there. Those two, it was cool. When they got together, didn't like some of the things they said. It was quite annoying. But those two was all buddy buddy and when tay ended up getting kicked out for all the reasons that are up on twitter i believe are um for all the, the three reasons she did violate three of the three rules which led to her getting kicked out and she agreed upon them. she agreed upon all three so it was a valid reason why she got kicked out it could have been a better timing because we did end our relationship there but that's that ended there so then shadow left and he didn't he only left due to the fact that he didn't like how i was running a group where he felt everybody needed to know who's being recruited who was being looked at for future recruitments this that and third but I only kept who I only kept that information to the leaders, which would be me and Braddy. And uh, eventually LT came along as a lead due to his commitment to the group. So if me and Braddy wasn't around, LT was there to run things. But it was me and Braddy. It was I was always around. So Braddy wasn't always around, which he could have been there a lot more. So yeah he could have been like a lot more active uh i'm i'm not going to go into braddy just yet but um but yeah shadow didn't like how i ran the group so me and him got into like the small argument because of that and then they went on tan and shadow went on to go do whatever the heck they please i don't know nor do i care me and uh so there's just me braddy zombie lt and ghost weller ghost weller he left due to the fact that and i'm gonna be completely honest he thought uh i was obligated to record a video with him instead of with panda this is how that went down me and panda we was recording the zombie series on black ops 4 on the ps4 and Obviously, Ghost Weller is a PC player. My PC doesn't run Call of Duty, so I'm not buying the game. Uh, it's, it's not like the game is cross-platform like now Black Ops 4 was not. He wanted to... He got mad for some reason because I was always recording Zombies with Panda instead of him, like, for the series, and I didn't want to extend my series more over to Cold War, and I didn't, I didn't want to. I wanted to end it at Black Ops 4. I don't know what his thoughts was there, but me and Panda, we, we already made some type of agreement to record the rest of the, those videos. So we did. I, I don't know why Ghost, Ghost Warlord got mad at that, but we brought it up in one of the group meetings. Uh, I, he was definitely targeting the hell out of me. He said that uh, we never invited him to anything or to record, which we recorded. We recorded some videos. And not only that, when me and LT told him to get Borderlands or Halo, because those are the games that we was doing, he never got them. So that was that that was his fault right there. I not on me. And we did send him an invite. If if he got any invite, it was through LT. 
and like sometimes through me because when me and lt was playing i was like yo go ahead and message him and tell him to get on we had sent him invites and since i told lt to do it that was on him what so those are that caused some drama there alone and then we all obviously got into arguments behind the scenes and uh, yeah so that was that was that so with all the drama floating around with craze right now uh because of my fault for some reason like everything else um due to all that it was actually tearing like me Brady, and lt's and zombies friendship apart like all of our friendship apart in general everybody's it was so i was talking to Brady. i was like let's just end it there's too much drama and it's going to end up uh, eventually ruining our friendship so due to me being the stem of where the drama was coming from i told lt and zombie and Brady, all of them i'm i told them to just stay away from me until all the drama dies down but the dislikes the dislikes even gone down y'all can't even see them no more but they did tend to go down with Brady, he like I said, he I don't really have much to say about Brady. It's just that I really uh, I think this will go for LT is I mean, not LT. I think this will go for Dr. Zombie as well. Um, I really wish you guys could have been more active. We, the group actually had potential. Obviously, if you was there when it happened, you would know everything behind the scenes. You know, ex like everything. Honestly, it should never happen, nor did the way everything went down. It definitely could have done in a better way due to my lack of leadership and me being like a, a terrible friend at times it wasn't uh, it wasn't gonna go together but i mean some people prefer people to lead the group that is barely there than somebody that's always there so hey well here i hope you got i hope you know you got your wish because now the group is being led by somebody that's never there nobody the group is now gone i'm i'm not even sure if i wanted to make this video is crazy in, like a while ago a few months ago so there's that but i had to make sure i got this video done and out of the way therefore you guys can know 